Hello, I'm Karen with the Office of Personnel Management. I'd like to share a few tips about volunteer experience in your federal resume. Some job opportunity announcements indicate that general and or specialized experience is required. Volunteer experience receives the same credit as comparable paid experience. Volunteer experience can be gained through many types of organizations such as nonprofit or community organizations or national service programs such as AmeriCorps or Peace Corps. Including volunteer experience on your resume that is related to the job for which you are applying can make a positive difference in your qualifications rating. So, include volunteer experience. Whether you are an applicant who is new to the federal government, a student or recent graduate, someone with little or no paid work experience, a seasoned professional entering a new career field, or someone re-entering the workforce after an absence. Present your volunteer experience the same way you would paid experience. Use a position title that captures your role. Use action verbs and describe what you did, your role, and the outcome of your efforts. Quantify your accomplishments, results, and outcomes. For example, who was impacted? How significant was the impact? What were the cost savings? Did you exceed the deadlines? What changed or improved? Include major activities related to the job for which you are applying. Avoid listing every task or activity. Provide important facts so the hiring agency can evaluate, verify, and appropriately credit your volunteer experience. So, include the average number of hours per week you volunteered percentage of time you spent on each major task, dates or length of time you worked as a volunteer with an organization or on a specific project. Present your volunteer experience in a way that makes sense. Include your volunteer experience the same way you would with paid experience, that is, most recent experience first. This makes sense for those with little or no paid work experience, such as students or people re-entering the workforce after an absence because putting the information up front highlights the relevant experience. Or you may want to separate your paid and volunteer experience. You can put your volunteer experience under a general heading such as volunteer experience. Or consider using a heading that highlights how your experience relates to the job for which you are applying. If you use a heading other than volunteer experience, be sure to identify which experience is unpaid. Above all, Keep in mind that volunteer work can build important knowledge and skills and provide valuable training and experience that translates directly to paid employment. So, make your volunteer experience count. May you have success in your job search.